And we saw perfect golf weather today, but for the rest of the week, not so much. Cody, let's talk about the rest of the week's forecast. I mean, there maybe there's indoor golf or indoor mini golf. I mean, that okay, works mini for golf. me. Okay, mini golf. I can get behind mini golf. Mini golf works for me. For, I'm not really that good at golf, but I'm decent at mini golf. If I remember Wonderland, if you know, you know. Going there for honors trips as a middle schooler coming up from Grand Coulee. But again, as Janelle mentioned, today was the perfect day for some golf weather. Tomorrow, the next few days, eh, not so much. But let's enjoy the moment. Beautiful, clear skies at the time as we take a look over Riverfront Park and at the clock tower right now. Temperatures warmer than what they were this time yesterday. Right now, we're at 57 degrees. Winds coming out of the northeast at 12 miles per hour at the Spokane Airport. And around the region, pretty warm at this time. A few places even in the 60s. That includes Ritzville, Othello, Moses Lake, Grand Coulee, Omac, Deer Park. Wow, a lot of places in the 60s. Others are in the upper 50s. A bit breezy at this time in some places. We're seeing some double digit wind speeds in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, Deer Park at this time. However, we are seeing some changes in our forecast. Now, today it's sunny and dry and heading into tonight. Tomorrow, though, we see that change in our weather pattern, bringing us a chance for some showers, some breezy winds. Towards the end of the week, even cooler temperatures back down into those 40s and potentially some mountain snow possible in our forecast to the point where in western Chelan County, there's actually a winter weather advisory going into effect tomorrow morning at 11, staying in effect until early Friday morning. So if you're heading over some of those passes, keep an eye on that. Now, a lot of that's because of this trough right here that's looking to bring us that active weather, those breezier conditions, especially when we start to get that tightening pressure gradient right there. So we're watching that really closely, especially when it comes to those wind speeds. We start to see some of that moving in tomorrow afternoon in the early afternoon. Looks like some of that could be staying with us as we head into our late evening hours for your Thursday. So just be prepared for that. Keep an eye on your lawn ornaments just in case or really your trash can. That's the real precursor. Heading into our the next 48 hours, we are seeing that chance for those showers moving in tomorrow early around, particularly Wenatchee, just south of OMAC, potentially according to our weather models, then moving closer to Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, into the late morning hours. Might even see some places getting more of that wintry mix. Others might have more of that, that chance for some snow showers. It's just all part of the spring weather package where we get that sunshine that we're seeing for today. And then other times, we kind of just get that taste of winter that's just still kind of clinging on to our forecast. So keep an eye on that, seeing more of that chance for some mountain snow, especially up in the Idaho Panhandle early on Friday morning. Now for tonight for our lows, we're looking at lows mostly down into the upper 20s to low 30s around the region. So still very chilly, still going to need a jacket in the early morning hours. Tomorrow we start to see those highs dropping down into the mid to upper 40s. Some places look to still hang on to those low to mid 50s, but our seven day forecast, you can see we see those temperatures dropping down to the upper 40s for tomorrow. Mid 40s are expected and then we start to gradually warm up next week, but it'll take some time to get there.